What is a trail bike? Or rather, what should a trail bike be? Balanced is probably a word that comes to mind when trying to describe a trail bike. It's not an all-out gravity-focused bruiser, but neither does it only talk in watts and intervals. Balance should also refer to the handling, a bike that's fun to ride on a cruisy flow trail, but not out of its depth when things get a little bit rough. In 1981, Specialized released the Stump Jumper, which is regarded as the world's first production mountain bike. Since then, the brand has done their best to keep the essence of mountain biking at the core of the Stump Jumper model. And one could argue that the essence of mountain biking is trail riding, and that a trail bike is the best way to enjoy the mountains. We're going to take a look at the Specialized Stump Jumper in detail and see how it sizes up to the South African terrain as well as our riding culture. But first, let's have a look at the basics of the bike. At the core of the Stump Jumper, you've got a carbon frame that generates 130 millimeters of rear wheel travel, and that is paired with a 140 millimeter fork. That makes for a mid-travel trail bike with a lightweight frame, specced with the kind of componentry that's relevant to the intentions of the bike. The carbon framed models hang in the 13 to 14 kilogram weight range, which puts them at the lighter end of the spectrum for mid-travel trail bikes. The spec of the Stump Jumper, which we'll get into in a little bit more detail later, is just hitting the sweet spot between aggressive descending focus and more marathon cruising. Exactly what you want on a bike like the Stump Jumper. And with that, let's take a closer look at the design of the Stump Jumper. Well, it is rather exquisite, isn't it? In designing the Stump Jumper frame, Specialized asked a bunch of computers, which were probably an early form of ChatGPT, now that I think of it, to remove all of the excess carbon from the frame. And what it left behind was some very tantalizing curves. The rear suspension employs flexible seat stays to generate that 130 millimeters of travel on what is essentially a linkage-driven single pivot design. There's room for a large water bottle inside most of the frame sizes with a small multi-tool attachment underneath it. And then beneath that, you've got Specialized's famous SWAT hatch. Specialized popularized in-frame storage and their system is one of the easiest to use. What can you fit inside it? Well, many things. A mini pump, a spare jacket, a multi-tool, your spare tube, hey, a sausage roll, speckled eggs, and even your toothbrush if you need to. The overall geometry of the bike is fairly progressive, but nothing too extreme. And that's a good thing on a bike like this. You really want to be delivering the happy medium and not going too wild in any direction with those geo numbers. You've got short 432 millimeter chain stays that go up to 442 millimeters in size S5 and S6. 76 degree seat tube angle in all sizes, good for flatter terrain and moderate climbs. 65 degree head tube angle in the low setting, plus 0.5 degrees in the high setting and a reach ranging from 410 millimeters to 530 millimeters that goes up in 30 to 25 millimeter increments. You can find the full geo chart for the bike in the article linked in the description of this video. So far, if we're talking about how the Stump Jumper fits into the South African riding scene, things are looking well in its favor. Trail parks are on the rise around the country and particularly those with a focus on flow trails. Now the Stump Jumper, as a lightweight mid-travel package with precisely balanced geometry, it's gonna to go together with flow trails like salt and slup chips. It's just made for this stuff. So where does the Stump Jumper fit into Specialized's range? Well, it's up and travel from the Epic Evo, which is a marathon race ready frame paired with some longer travel legs, 120 millimeters of travel front and back to up the traction, comfort and control when things get a little wild. That being said, it's a nimble flyweight in comparison to its bruiser big brother, the Stump Jumper Evo. The Stumpy Evo employs 150 millimeters of travel out back paired with 160 millimeter fork and is very gravity orientated. Specialized, of course, also has a strong range of e-mountain bikes, of which you could say the Stump Jumper is mirrored by the Levo SL. The bike that we've got here is the Stump Jumper Expert, and we're going to take a look at where that fits into the model range available here in South Africa. There are three carbon models to choose from and one alloy model. The top dog is the S-Works Limited model. That retails for 199,000 Rand, and it is, of course, a stunning bike with all the bells and whistles you could possibly want. Carbon wheels, electronic shifting, and drop posts, the most powerful brakes, the lot. Next up is the Stump Jumper Expert model, and it retails for 115,000 Rand. That's the bike we have here, and to be honest, there wouldn't be much that I'd want to change on it either. You've got the Grip 2 damper in the Fox Fork, which is the best you can get. The SRAM G2 brakes are adequately powerful, and that XO1 drivetrain is undoubtedly premium. 
The biggest performance difference you might note coming down from the limited model is going to be the alloy wheels instead of carbon. A bit heavier to accelerate and get around the corners, but I certainly wouldn't peg them as a deal breaker. The third carbon model is the Stump Jumper Comp and it retails for 79,000 Rand and I would argue is the best value for the everyday rider. It comes with mostly the same spec as the Stump Jumper Expert, although it swaps out the X01 drivetrain for SLX as well as the brakes also for Shimano SLX. Brakes are typically a matter of preference. I would argue that there isn't going to be a big performance difference between the SLX brakes and the G2s, though your shifting on the X01 will feel a little bit more premium than the SLX and it's about 200 grams lighter. The damper that comes in the Stump Jumper Comps Fork is Fox's Grip Damper. For most riders, I think it'll be a little bit easier to set up and feel just about as good. The Alloy Stump Jumper retails for 42,000 Rand and is, a matter of fact, an entirely different prospect. It trades those flexible seat stays for traditional pivots and the chain stays and increases the chain stay length to 444 millimeters. This means you trade a bit of the poppy nature that you get from the carbon stumpies for oodles of traction. On the spec side, it's a little bit below that of the Stump Jumper Comp. You've got a SRAM SX drivetrain, Pectro Gemini brakes, RockShox 35 RL fork and an X-Fusion shock. All of those bikes offer a lot of value for the price tag with a component spec that is well chosen to enhance the ride where it counts. With all that said, you can't judge a bike by its spec sheet and geo chart, so we're going to share some of our thoughts and experiences from the time that we had aboard the Stump Jumper Expert. We're going to walk you through some of our thoughts on the spec of the bike first and starting with the tyres. Now they are specialised rubber and they really were great all round. On the back, we've got the Purgatory, and that's a fast rolling hard pack specialist. On the front, the Butcher, which was super dependable as a front tire. Specialized recently did an overhaul on all their tire compounds, and we found that they really are fantastic. It's good to know that your bike will come out of the box with top class rubber, and it might even be a tire that's worth trying on your current setup as well. As for the contact points, that specialized bridge comp saddle has an ergonomic design and should suit many bums. It comes in a variety of sizes, depending on the size of the bike. On the grip side, the Deity grips were super comfortable, certainly nothing to complain about there. On the stopping side of things, SRAM's G2 brakes are pretty solid and offer that classic SRAM modulation. They should offer you more than enough power unless you're going to be smashing out 10 plus minute descents on the regular and doing a lot of heavy braking, or if you are a much heavier rider. It's hard to fault the suspension on the spike. You've got the Grip 2 damper from Frox up front and that really is the top of its class. And on the back, the Ride Experience Tune from Specialized RX, if you read it on the shock, feels bang on. The Roval Traverse alloy wheel set feels sturdy, but not sluggish. I ride carbon wheels quite a bit myself, and I certainly didn't feel that these were too heavy. They blend into the ride experience very well, don't ask for much attention, and I'd say that that's the mark of a good wheel set. The alloy handlebars feel quite stiff and come at a standard 780 millimeters. The 30 millimeters of rise feels very comfortable when climbing and descending, as does the 50 millimeter stem. Those two are very easy to change though, if you do prefer something different. The S1 and S2 sizes do come with a 40 millimeter stem. The one-up dropper post was absolutely superb. It's got one of the best feeling levers that I've ever laid my thumb on, and the actuation is nice and light. On the S3 frame, it comes in 150 millimeters, but that ranges up to 180 millimeters, I believe, and a little bit shorter for some of the smaller frames. All those components and features play their part well, but how does it all come together on the trail? Well, the Stump Jumper is a super fun bike to ride. The short chain stays mean that it's very happy on the back wheel and quick to snap around tight corners. The S5 and S6 models do get slightly longer chain stays, 10 millimeters extra in fact, which keeps things proportional to the growth and reach and should offer a similar ride experience for taller riders. Overall, the bike is very light on its toes and responds quickly to inputs. If you're coming from a marathon background, it might feel a bit more stable and sturdy, which is a good thing, but as lightweight trail bikes go, this thing is snappy. As for the climbing, you're going to notice that the stump jumper is light from the get-go. It accelerates eagerly and that would make sense given the frame weight, including the shock, comes to 2.3 kilograms. The seat tube angle is neutral for bikes in this category, meaning that it's suited to flatter terrain and all but the steepest of climbs. If you are doing a lot of really steep climbing, moving the saddle forward on the rail slightly is going to help you dial in your seating position. I found that the front end was quite tall and that made for a very comfortable and relaxed climbing position, something I very much enjoyed. Pointing the stump jumper downhill, I felt that the tall front end was giving me a confidence inspiring riding position and helped me really relax on the bike. The overall componentry and geo works very well and allows you to just get on with the job of riding your bike and that low system weight really is a pleasure to ride. The stumpy performs just as a 130mm trail bike should and it does it with class. The alloy wheels offer a little bit more stability and security but the overall system is certainly still very easy to move around as and when you should. 
balance is certainly a word that comes to mind when you think of riding the Stumpy. So who is the Stump Jumper for? Well, we can certainly say that this is not a niche bike. It's an excellent all-rounder, as a trail bike should be, and thus it's going to be suitable for a wide range of users. The versatile platform is going to be good for anything from stage racing to laps at the local trail park. If you want to take it stage racing, pop some fast rolling tires on, maybe 10 extra PSI in the suspension for a bit of a firmer pedaling platform, and you're good to go. If it's laps at the trail park, keep those stock tires on, set the sag around 30%, and it's happy days. If the Stump Jumper platform sounds a little tame for your liking, and you're more about going steep and deep than anything else, the Stump Jumper Evo might be the bike that you're looking for. If you're actually more of a marathon rider at heart, but want a bit more of a forgiving platform than the traditional 100mm options, I'd say check out that epic Evo. Well, there you have it. The Stump Jumper remains a benchmark in the broad trail bike category. It's light on its feet, comfortable in a variety of situations, very easy to live with, and very, very easy to look at. If you want some more info, on this bike or the rest of Specialized Range, hit the link in the description and we'll see you out on the trails.